So here's the thing, typing is dead, literally dead. And if it's still your main input method, you're already falling behind. Let me tell you why. Conversations are four times faster than typing and they're far more natural and raw. There's strong research showing that we recall ideas better from our exact words, like transcriptions, rather than from summaries. And that's because the brain relies on original phrasing to trace that thought. And I use a tool called VoiceLink. It does exactly that inside of Notion, Notion Calendar, Notion Mail, and anywhere that I'd normally type. And I've tried enough of these tools to know. Most are either overpriced, overcomplicated, or both. And this one just works. So in this video, I'll show you how to set VoiceLink up and how to use it in real workflows how it connects with AI. And finally, of course, why it's such a great value. I always wonder, why didn't I find this sooner? So when I wrote my book, the typing, the rewrites, oh, it was exhausting with VoiceSync and tools like ChatGPT. That entire process would have felt so much lighter. Now you just talk and the AI turns it into clean, structured writing. What are the different books that are available on Theatre Ram's Principles of Design? You're not typing anymore. You're just simply editing. And that blank page, it's no longer intimidating. So during installation, you'll need to set up two essential things. I leave the rest for the installation guide. The first one is to select your local language model. And I recommend the large V3 Turbo. It's fast, it's accurate, and it keeps everything private with no cloud uploads. The second is to configure a keyboard shortcut. So I use control plus forward slash, which is quick and comfortable to press with the right hand. Now let's talk about push to talk. So you can set this up to hold a modifier key to record and release to stop. This is brilliant for short inputs. But personally, I prefer control plus forward slash. Tap once to start. You can take your hand off. And then when it's time to stop, tap it again. I feel it's easier on the hands when it comes to longer sessions. There's much, much more to uncover and we'll get to it along the way. Now, here's the thing. Switching from typing to voicing is a tiny habit shift. So at first I kept reaching for the keyboard, but by day two, I wasn't even thinking about it anymore. With voicing, I was just pressing control plus forward slash, leaning back, relaxed, and I talk. No more furious typing, no formatting, just thinking out aloud. So as soon as you press control plus forward slash, the recording starts, right? And whatever you say is captured, actually transcribed by AI, and it's instantly copied to your clipboard. And from there, it's ready to be pasted anywhere. And that's your final output. And that's why I say it's not just limited to Notion. You can use it in any app where you'd normally type. And this makes it incredibly useful across your entire workflow. And everyone, and I really mean it, everyone speaks a little differently. And sometimes AI might mishear or misspell words. And to fix that, VoiceInc includes a dictionary feature. And you can add up to 25 custom words names, brands, or technical terms, each one up to 154 characters. And that way it learns to recognize what matters most to you. Now you can have more than 25, but then you can enable 25 at a time. And there's also a word replacement feature inside of dictionary settings. And this time there's no limit to how many you can add. Now, for example, when I say my website link, it automatically replaces it with the full link, which is https studiocx360.com. And I've configured that. 
or if I say my email ID, it pastes studiocx360 at gmail.com. It's great for anything you say often, like links, emails, or phrases that you don't want to keep typing. And now that we know how it works and how to set it up, let's see how you can use it inside of Notion, Notion Calendar, and Notion Mail. And let's talk about using VoiceSync with Notion. VoiceSync supports optional AI integration to enhance the transcription quality. So I've connected it to Gemini using the free API key and setting this up just takes about a minute. But you're not limited just to Gemini. You can also use it with OpenAI, DeepSeek, Anthropic, Omistral, Llama, or even your custom model. And inside of Notion, I use the AI in two different ways for refining content on a specific page. First of all, I use Notion AI to clean up or improve my writing directly. And second, help me rewrite the script. I give ChatGPT access to that page and I ask it to rewrite or to simplify specific sections. Now, both methods actually work really well and they pair perfectly with VoiceSync's transcription and enhancement features. And when you're using ChatGPT, it also becomes context aware because it can actually read what's on the Notion page. Now, VoiceSync has a feature called Power Mode, which lets you configure how it behaves in different apps. And that is either the default mode, which is just basic transcription, or an assistant mode which is AI enhanced. And to enable the assistant mode, you just go to the enhancement tab and scroll right to the bottom. And there you will see an option to set a trigger word. By default, I've kept it at hey. So you might ask, how does this really help? So when I'm in Notion Mail and I hit reply, what I do is I simply start by saying, hey, and I follow that up with what I want email to say. I don't say the exact words. I just say, can you please, and then continue with it. Now, VoiceSync picks that up, processes it through AI, and drafts a reply based on my instruction. I don't have to type the whole response. I just review it, make small edits if needed, and send it off. This turns VoiceSync into a virtual assistant, not just a transcription tool. And you can choose which apps to use for the assistant mode and which ones you need to stick to the default mode. It works well across all apps that support text input. Now let's talk about how I use it with a Notion calendar. So using power mode, I've connected it in default mode and with AI enhancement turned off. Now that's because I want the event name to use my exact words without AI trying to rephrase or to interpret them. Now I found this to be the simplest and most reliable way to use voicing with Notion Calendar. Quick, direct, and always accurate. So VoiceSync is just $19 one time for a single user license and $29 for up to three devices. It works just on the Mac. Most alternatives charge around $10 a month. So this is a lifetime deal at a fraction of the yearly cost. And it works well across all apps. And here's the fun part. This entire video was scripted using VoiceSync. You'll find a link in the description.